Hey, good morning, guys. Today is a good day, guys. The stimulus checks has finally started rolling out. So here are the latest updates as of Monday the 13th. For those of you with a credit union, you might already have seen your stimulus checks in your account today, the 13th. You might see it as a pending transaction. But for the rest of you and most of you, about 60 million of you guys will get your check this week, according to the IRS. More likely between Wednesday and Friday this week, about 60 million of you guys. Yes, indeed, this is a good news day, guys. So what if you don't get your stimulus check by Friday, what should you do? So now, for those of you who already filed your 2018 or 2019 taxes electronically with your account information on it, if you don't get your check by Friday, you should go to the IRS.gov website and download the Track My Payment app. This app will be available later on this week on their website. You can download this app to track your check to see when and where it is. And second update for today, guys. If you're a social security recipient, you did not file a tax return, or you're not required to file a tax return, your stimulus checks will be coming out 10 days from today. You won't get your stimulus check this week. It will be out 10 days from today. Third update, guys. If you have moved since the last time you filed your tax return, here's what you need to do. If you did not file your 2019 taxes yet, but you moved since you filed your 2018, all you have to do when you file your 2019 is file the 2019 with the current address. But if you have moved since you filed your 2019 taxes, here's what you have to do. Please subscribe to the channels, guys. We're the only channel on YouTube here, guys, who's bringing you up to the minute update about the stimulus package in five minutes or less. So please subscribe so you don't miss any of our next videos. First, you need to notify your local postal office and do a forwarding address. As a matter of fact, you can do that on the website. But since not all postal office will forward a government check, what you also have to what you also have to do, you have to file the ADA 22 form. That's a change of address form with the IRS. Now, let's say you had a joint return when you file, but you have since been separated. You both have different addresses. Now you both have to notify the IRS of the change of address for each of you guys. Quick reminder, guys, for those of you who already filed your 2018 or 2019 taxes, but did not provide your bank account information. In other words, you got to check or debit card in the mail. The app for that will be coming out later on this week. So you can enter your banking information to get your money as quickly as possible. Here's another quick warning from the IRS guys. The IRS will not call you to get your personal information over the phone. They will not ask you to pay a fee. If you get any of these kind of calls, it's a scam. Hang up the phone. Don't give any of your personal information over the phone. Don't pay any fee to get your checks. The IRS will not ask you to do any such of things, guys. So just so you know, this is strictly from this is strictly from the IRS. This is a quick warning for you guys. Anyway, guys, and that's it, guys. That's all I have for you for today. If this is your first time here, my name is Paul with Sunset OLC, and I would love to have you as a subscriber. So please subscribe so don't miss any of our next videos. I'll see you on the next update. Thanks.